What's up guys? This is King Crypto. Today we're going to be talking about the controversial tweets or paid for tweets by John McAfee and we're going to talk about whether this is good or bad for crypto. Right now DJ Kahal wins the Litecoin giveaway with all his picks. I think most of them, um, probably all of them went up in those span, that span of time was probably just because the market uh, just had a breakout in general but I think he has he makes some good points especially with Neo being so cheap at the moment or was so cheap it's still pretty cheap right now so if you like this video if you like the Litecoin giveaways please subscribe and you can be next to win on to the video now alright guys so we're gonna talk about John McAfee today we're gonna talk about what he's doing how he's getting paid for his tweets and whether it's uh, him being a sellout or him helping crypto so let's start with the first advantage to what he's doing and obviously the first advantage is the money he's making by doing this he's getting paid hundred and five thousand dollars per tweet and that is an absurd amount of money if you do the math it's around three hundred and seventy five dollars per letter per one letter that's how much money he's making by these tweets so yeah that's uh that's that's gonna make a lot of people jealous you know what I mean and you can see everything on his website here about his uh, crypto team and how he lays it all out. And he says he's one of the only people that's ever really talked about how much he's actually getting paid. But that could also be because of the SEC. Um, they have their eyes on him and they, they're they not going to just let him get away with all this promotional tweets and he's not saying a word. So this is a new thing. Anyway, I'm digressing. So first thing is he's making a lot of money. Secondly, the Icos are making a lot of money as well. Uh, he has a broad range of followers. He has over 800,000 followers. And during that time, you know, if people see him talk about Docometic and he keeps tweeting about it, they're, they're bound to click. And I clicked for the video, but a lot of people come to this website, you know, and the Icos, they, they get a lot of exposure through him. And also, they get a return on investment through him. If you count how many people follow him, you have to take into consideration how many of these people are rich. How many of these people can afford to put their money into something like Docometic? And I have to admit, Docometic does look like an interesting ICO that is designed to help the world, and that's always a cute little thing. Even though healthcare, free basic healthcare for the world is a very feels like a very long time coming I don't especially in America so I don't know if it's even possible but it's a nice idea so you have to like take those things into consideration but a lot of these people won't and it's because of his influence and because of his life story um, so the ICO benefits he benefits and finally the people benefit because all these people are investing in the ICO and if he if he makes the right call, they make ten times the amount they put in, and that is a wonderful thing to happen. But doesn't always happen like that, and that's the disadvantage to what he's doing is the is the pump and dump feature that he has with these coins, and it happens all the time with ICOs. You have to most of the time with an ICO chart, you'll see that it'll it'll be really high on the day of the exchange and then everyone sells out until it's like 90% lower value happens all the time and also when he used to do his coin of the day tweets which were probably paid for as well um, you know people bought up to 10 times the amount that Verge was worth 2.5 times the amount that Digibyte was worth but there were people that bought at the very top and those people got burned because of the pump and dumps that he was essentially creating. Might not have been his intention, but it is what he did. So it's a it's um it's a weird thing, you know. And that that also causes people to not trust his opinions. And you know, just in general, he, it, there is a lack of authenticity when you find out someone will only do something for money. In general. Like, let's say I drive you somewhere because you need a ride and you have your car broke down. And I ask you for money for it every time. That's like, that's a lack of authenticity on my part if I do that, in my opinion. 
So, you know, now now he's blurred the lines for himself. When I made this video three months ago, I didn't know he was getting paid now. And it's very possible that he's gotten paid for all those coins now. So, I don't know. And that that's that's a line you don't want to have with your with your followers. You want to be transparent on what you're getting paid for and what you're not getting paid for. And it's also illegal. So he probably did that because it's illegal as well. Um, and then finally, the show mentality. Now people in crypto love the show mentality. They they tell everybody they're a shill. You like a coin, you're a shill. You like that coin, you're still a shill. Like. Every coin I don't like is a shill coin or or it's a scam. That's how people act in crypto. Some people, you know. So, uh, him doing this definitely took a lot of credibility away from him. But at the end of the day, when we when we talked about our advantages and disadvantages, what I think is that he's not really doing anything wrong. The thing is that. Some people in crypto have really strong opinions, right? And it seems like they're so loud that everyone thinks like that. But most people in crypto like what he has to say, and they're taking him seriously. And it could very well be that he might be strong and wrong, but it's pumping these ICOs, it's pumping coins, and a lot of people have made money based on it. And if you don't like what he has to say, you don't have to invest in what he has to say. And if more people did that, he wouldn't be getting paid $100,000 a tweet. People wouldn't pay attention to his tweets. If people self-regulated and they were more critical of the top crypto enthusiasts, we wouldn't be seeing these outrageous prices, you know, for what he's doing. So, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, my opinion is very mixed. I feel like he's making his money. He's He knows that's his worth. It is his worth. He's making the money back, or the ICOs are making the money way, right back, or they wouldn't be doing it. But at the same time, if I were him, I would just be, I wouldn't be as consistent in promoting things all the time, because then it makes your credibility go down, or at least it, it makes people's perception of you not as, um, not as trustworthy. So, that's what I have to say about that. An example of a YouTuber that does reviews, but I think he still keeps his his credibility intact is Crypto Crow. He doesn't make ICO reviews just to say they're good. He will he will definitely break it down for you, tell you what he thinks about it, and uh, it could be very blunt. It could be unfortunate for the ICO because they're paying him to talk about it. But in that case, he still makes out. You know, he makes his he makes money. And he still keeps his authenticity. So, yeah, guys, that's um, I'm, I could talk about the shills, the straight up shills, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So that's that's pretty much it. It for, in breaking it down in one sentence, John makes one hundred thousand dollars because people listen to him. It's as simple as that. If you don't like it, don't listen. And then we could we could self-regulate ourselves and what we think but exposure isn't a bad thing and a lot of these followers aren't crypto enthusiasts a lot of them don't know anything about crypto uh it's probably hard to believe but he does have a few hundred thousand before this all happened with him so he is educating the world and whether he's an eccentric character or a little crazy sometimes that's the best thing for a company or or an industry conor mcgregor is one crazy dude but if he if his face wasn't in the UFC, people would not watch the UFC. Like or at least it wouldn't be nearly as popular as it is now. I know that for a fact. We all know that. So that's how I feel about that guys. Um if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and you will have a chance to win some free Litecoin. So like tell me really what you think about John McAfee. Is he a shithead or is he doing the right thing? Do you like his how he's using his influence or not? Whoever gives me the best answer will get next uh, next videos like Queen. Have a good day, guys. See ya. No.